Welcome to Newsday on the BBC. I'm Sharon Jitlail in Singapore. The headlines. How, how many of you? 13. Brilliant. The moment 12 young boys and their football coach are found alive after being trapped in a vast cave system in Thailand for nine days. Their families are overjoyed, but the boys' ordeal is not over yet. They're tired and hungry, and rescuers still need to work out how to get them out. It will be a prolonged operation, but right now, this entire country is relishing a happy ending that have become harder and harder to believe in. The most senior Catholic priest ever to be convicted of covering up a child sex abuse scandal is due to be sentenced shortly by an Australian court. And the Beatty Sharma in London also in the programme. A left-wing anti-establishment candidate is to become Mexico's next president. Lopez Obrador has vowed to crack down on corruption. And more drama in Russia after a nail-biting match against Belgium. Japan are knocked out of the World Cup. I'm Ollie Foster, live in Moscow. It was one of the great World Cup comebacks, but the Blue Samurai were so close to reaching their first World Cup quarter-final. Live from our studios in Singapore and London. This is BBC World News. It's Newsday. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. in Singapore, 11 p.m. in London and 5 a.m. in Chiang Rai, where late at night came the extraordinary news that 12 boys and their football coach missing for nine days in a cave had been found alive. Divers have been trying to reach them for days after water levels rose suddenly, trapping the boys. The discovery came after a marathon search operation in Thailand.